How can we maximize the promise of micro-credentials? We dive deep into this question at the Symposium on the Currency of Micro-Credentials in Washington, D.C. I think the aha moment of today was how much progress has been made on something that just a short time ago I would have said was really new. And I was excited to hear from district folks, from state folks, and then from organizations like Learning Forward how much progress, how interested people are in this, and how committed they are to trying to make it possible to scale and to sustain. We explored the different challenges and potential solutions for ways to recognize formally the micro-credentials educators earn to support student learning in their own professional growth. We explored financial recognition, the ways based salary increases or even stipends can work to increase an educator's engagement with micro-credentials. I think that um, the questions, realizing how many questions there are yet to be answered really excites me um, because it hints that we can work together, that, um, how important it is that that collaborative piece across the nation um, how much opportunity there is to move this work forward. And conversations like um, those that occur today really are going to serve that purpose. We looked at CEUs and other professional development credits to figure out how they can be leveraged to ensure that micro-credentials are well received by educators. We then looked at career pathways in ways that the multiple trajectories of educators can work alongside the micro-credential earning process. I think the other thing was is that that there's not really a, a linear or just one path, but that rather this notion of multiple paths uh, are really important. We also looked at licensure and relicensure pathways in ways micro-credentials can contribute to the power and promise of new teachers entering into the profession. To learn about the other sessions from the symposium, click on that session's icon above. Thanks a lot.